an athletic department that makes headlines more than its teams. Few would disagree the Department of Intercollegiate Athletics at Illinois has been a mess. It's been a challenge, no question. It's been a rough six, seven, eight months right now. An email scandal took down Illinois Chancellor Phyllis Wise. She resigned her position citing external issues. A football scandal took down coach Tim Beckman, fired after reports of medical mistreatment and player abuse within the program. The full release of that investigation report took down athletic director Mike Thomas. That day, interim chancellor Barbara Wilson glowed about Thomas in the press conference announcing the decision to get rid of him. Then why did he have to go, she was asked. There have been distractions in the last several weeks, just had lots of distractions. And every time those of us in a 90 mile radius of Champaign-Urbana look up, we see some other stupid idiotic maneuver at the U of I. State Senator Chapin Rose has two degrees from the University of Illinois. We've got all these people that don't do anything on the payroll, just paid the athletic director a couple million bucks. We just can't take any more of it. Those on campus don't necessarily disagree, including interim athletic director Paul Kowalczyk. The last thing we want to do is go around making wholesale changes right now at any level. Kowalczyk has spent much of the time since his appointment meeting with staff, making similar assurances. Football coach Bill Cubitt has made his case. People ask if you want it. Yes, I want it. Uh, am I the best guy? Yeah, in my mind I am. But Kowalczyk said even he doesn't know which full-time position will be filled first. But he hinted one decision is more pressing than others. The fan base uh, uh, out there wants to know what's going on with football. And I think that's critical. This, as even the AD candidate list, is shrinking. Colorado Athletic Director Rick George is a 1982 graduate of Illinois. Thursday, George got out ahead of any offers and said if Illinois did, he would gracefully decline. Controversy aside, Illinois' merry band of interims have to push forward. This school has a tremendous history. It has a, an outstanding culture. We're coming up on 150 years. I mean, there, there's a lot to be proud of. There's a lot to sell. A hard sell, since even someone considered their own, isn't quite ready to buy.